Hey, what's up? Life Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the brand new Netflix original film, Awake. This is starring Gina Rodriguez. She also produced this as well. I think this was the reason why she wanted to leave Superstore. Um... I know she had a lot of other projects she was working on, and that's why she wanted to leave Superstore. I think this was one of the projects it had to have been because Superstore just ended, and here we are with this brand new 2021 show. So this is a very interesting movie. We've seen this plot before in an apocalyptic setting within War of the Worlds where there's some type of EMP that happens, electromagnetic pulse that happens, wipes out all battery, all stuff that's using any form of electricity, uh, batteries, cell phones, electricity in general, right? So it clears the grid. Bl complete blackout, people have to figure things out. And when this happens, Gina Rodriguez is with uh, her two kids in this, um, Noah and Matilda, and the car stops finally, but then it gets hit by a truck. They fall into a lake. Um, mom and son come out of the lake, seeing Sheriff pushing on the daughter's chest to get the water out of her lungs. Okay, so then they're trying to figure out what to do. The grandmother thinks that, you know, something special is going on because Matilda can sleep and then everybody else can't sleep. So she takes her to church where there's all hell breaking loose at the church. Um, but that's the other thing. So all the electronic stuff doesn't work, but then people can't sleep as well. So if you're not, if you don't sleep, you know, three, four days, you start to get delirious. Your body starts to shut down. You start to hallucinate. The longest recorded lack of sleep was 11 days someone had volunteered for a study and he went 11 days without sleep um he didn't die but i think he suffered from delirium and sleep def deprivation obviously so this movie's about figuring out why can matilda sleep um the fact that there's another woman who can sleep and that this particular woman's at this place called the hub which is 150 miles away from where they are um that one of gina's friends from a military uh from the military is like running the hub so it's a matter of will they won't they get to the hub when they get to the hub what's going to happen at the hub all hell breaks loose there of course because people are now it's delirium we're, we're on what we're like eight or nine days after this started so like people are like going crazy um and rightfully so they're starting to hallucinate and then after the morning after all hell breaks loose um, it's presumed that the brother Noah is dead because he was electrocuted, but then there was a defibrillator that uh, Matilda had brought her brother back with, and he was alive. So then Matilda then figures out that you have to be dead to then be alive again, like a reborn thing. And she asked her brother, did something happen to me? Why, you know, why can I sleep? And then they both realized that she died very briefly in the accident and that there was water in her lungs and the officer had brought her back. So their plan was to uh, do the same thing to their mom, who's on the verge of death. Uh, they put her in a lake and drown her and it's a matter of will she wake up or won't she wake up? And then we hear a gasp at the black screen. It, it was so cool. Like I said, we've seen this, this, you know, electromagnetic pulse wiping out everything electronic. Uh, and then you have to put a new car battery in a car kind of a thing to get things going again. We've seen that. I've seen that in, in War of the Worlds. It's been in a bunch of other stuff too, which is a great plot point to create chaos within a society which then crumbles. But I haven't seen this whole, you have to restart the heart battery since the heart's the battery as well kind of a thing. I thought that was a neat, I thought that was a neat little twist. I, I, I didn't expect it. So it was, it, it's like an hour and a half long. Some parts are extremely slow, but like it was a neat twist at the end of figuring it out that the kid had to figure it out i thought that was pretty cool I, ha I haven't seen something like this in a while so kept me on my toes i will say that i was very impressed i hope i'm impressed in the next film on to something else <laughs> reach a mile